Hi guys, good evening people. Hello, hello. Hi guys, do you hear me? The copy. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi guys. Hi, teacher. How is everything? How are you? I'm fine. Are you guys Are you guys happy? Are you guys happy to be here, to be alive? No? Yes, I'm great. Excellent. That's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, yeah. How was your weekend? Como les fue fin de semana? How was your weekend? It's okay. Okay. It was okay. Yes. Okay. That's, that's really good. That's really good. Yes. All right. That is perfect. Trying to find a picture here. Hold on, give me a second here. I'm trying to find this picture. Okay, oh, well, today we are going to practice a lot, okay. This class is all about this class is all about practice. So today we're going to be focusing or emphasizing ourselves on practice, okay. So I, I need I need you guys to practice, okay, or to participate in the activities that we're going to be developing. All right. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let me let me take attendance real quick. We go. I'm going to take attendance. Let me see. Alba Janet Jimenez Cabrera. No, right. Uh, Ana Marcela Argueta Santos. Present teacher. Hello. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Hi. Carlos Ernesto Perez. No, okay. Carlos Josue Pascasio Garcia. Present teacher. Hello. Catherine Alexandra Lozano Ramirez. Cesar Arquímedes Moreno Flores. Present teacher. Hi. Flor uh, Elizabeth Garcia. No. She's never shown up. Jonathan Mauricio Galvez Juarez. Jose Jair Lobo Perez. I'm here. Hi. Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. I'm here, teacher. Mm -hmm. Marcela Karina Melgar Alas. Margarita Rosemary Perez Ayala. Present. Hello. Maria Jose Hernandez Auceda. No. Reinaldo Antonio Fernandez Acevedo. Present teacher. Hello. Sandra Yanida Ayala Jimenez. Silvia Guadalupe Romero Montoya. Present. Wilber Alberto Perez Méndez. Present teacher. Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. No, okay. And uh, Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need to. Well, I am a I I see the number. Present teacher, I'm here. Yes, I can see you there. Present teacher, Marcela Karina Melgar. Yes, and Reynaldo, right? Present teacher, Alba Janet. Ya le puse C, no vino. Ah, pues ya me voy a dormir. En Jonathan Mauricio. Okay. Excellent people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for, for being here. Okay. Excellent. Today, like I said before, today we have a practice day. So we are going to practice a lot. Okay. We are going to practice a lot. Let me open the book and I will show you what we are going to be doing. Listen, teacher. Uh, hi, hi. You are late. It's, and it's okay, no problem, okay? I'm just trying to get the book, okay, because it's here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Pobrecito. <laughs> uh, sorry, Jair. <laughs> we did this one already, we did this one already. Page 24. My book is not working. Teacher, eh, mi señor se oía cortado, pero yo sí estoy presente. Le escuché cuando me preguntó, pero se oía cortado, me desconecté y me volví a conectar. Ok, no te preocupes, no te preocupes. Ok, aquí me hace con que me está una persona acá no la puedo reactivar. Y la compañera Karen dijo de que se iba a conectar más tarde. Solo me dijo oh. que le avisara. Ok, ok, thank you very much for letting me know. Thank you, thank you. Espérame que se puede. Okay. Así que me lo quedo congelado. Not, not responding, okay. No good. What is happening? Analogy. Okay, I got it, I got it now, sorry. We are, we are completely ready, people. Okay, there is uh, something on page 24. I need you guys, I need you guys to open your books or yeah, on uh, over here, uh, on the computer or if you have a physical, no problem, even better. Uh, open your books and go to page, and go to page 24, please. Page 24. Page 24. Please, give me a second. Okay. Uh, apparently, apparently there is something that we haven't that we haven't finished on page number twenty-four. Uh, libro? Do you see the book? Because I'm I'm showing presenting the book to you guys right now. Guys, do you see the book? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, page 24, it says, uh, well, uh, we already did this, but excellent, that's, that's okay. It starts initially then. Okay, here, uh, it's uh, the lesson, 
I don't know, but this is, like, we have to do it. Okay, uh, it says I will be able to state the frequency of activities I do in my, in my work. Use expressions to state your urgency or commands. Okay, then it says, let's start. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? And then it says, what is something you never do in your workplace? All right, guys, I need you to think of one thing, okay? One thing that you do every day or that you always do in your company or in your workplace, okay? Oh, you just one, one, not three. It says three over here, but just one. And one thing that you never do, okay? Pensemos en una cosa o actividad que hacemos uh, todos los días o siempre hacemos en la compañía y una que no hacemos, okay? So to just two examples, two examples, all right? And I will be asking you to give me the examples, okay? Yo les pregunto. Two examples. What is something I always do at workplace and what is something I never do at the workplace? That's what we're going to do. What is happening? Are you guys ready? Estamos listos? ¿Quién inicia? <laughs> Okay, vamos. Uh, let's see. Magdiel is going to start. Thank you, Magdiel. Gracias por hacer proceso. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, vamos. I check my email. I, I always check my email. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the thing you always do. Um, I never go out the company. Really? You never? Okay. Okay, that's that's yes. really perfect. Thank you very much, Magdiel, for sharing. Excellent. Uh, let me see. Karina, are you ready? Karina, are you ready? No. Hola. Hi. Are you ready? Hola. Uh, I'll... Ah, bueno, pero es, es lo que todos tenemos que hacer y los que no, lo, la tarea de la vez pasada, ¿verdad? No. No, es otro. Eso es lo que mencioné, algo que hace todos los días o que siempre hace en la compañía y algo que no hace, que nunca hace. Ok, yes. I get out, I get out very early all day. Okay. In the company, in the company. Ah. Um, ah, I arrive mm -hmm. very early uh, all day. Every day. No. Every day, perdón. Every day. I don't believe you. No, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Something you never do? Mm. I no sé ahorita. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something 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 you never do. Okay. In in, in the workplace. No se me no se me ocurre algo ahorita que no haga. Okay, okay. Yes, entonces. Let's continue. Uh, Wilber, help us, please. Thank you, Wilber. Uh, the thing I do uh, daily uh, is uh, visit clients. Uh, what I do is 
no attend new employers. Can you please, la, la, la última no se la escuchó, the, the last one. No attend new employers. Uh, what, what are you trying to say? ¿Qué quiere decir, uh, Wilber? Well, uh, I don't do it. Uh, what, what does uh, human resources? No, 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 no. I don't do what uh, human resources does. Oh, okay, okay. Like, like, like a ten new project. Yes, I understand now. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. Let's continue here, Mr. Lobo Perez. Go, please. Okay. Uh... I have to monitor client compliance, also uh, prepare report uh, the dispute. Um, I help co-workers and prepare base de, uh, base de datos. That database. Database. Data, data, database. 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 Okay. Uh, that's all. All right. Yes, it's perfect. Thank you very much for sharing, Alba. Go, Alba. Um, every day I check in email for the company. I never call the client. You never talk to clients? Okay, okay, that's okay, that's okay. You never talk to them, no problem. Excellent. Rosemary, go, please. I always have meeting with my boss. I never go out early. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, it's sad. Andrea Sofia, thank you for your examples. Andrea Sofia, go, please. Okay, I always uh, call the clients and I never supervise the work progress. Okay, thank you very much for sharing, Andrea. Excellent. Carlos Josue. Hello, teacher. I always have the daily reports. I never call clients. You never call clients, okay? That's okay, that's okay. Thank you very much for, for that. Anna, Marcela, go please. Hello, uh, I checked my email. Mm -hmm. email creo que es. Mm -hmm. Y de lo que no hago, no sé qué. No sé qué poner, qué decir. I don't know you. <laughs> casi hay muchas cosas que siempre hago. No siempre, pero sí las hago. Okay, we get it, we get it. That's okay. Thank you for sharing. Cesar, can you please share? Hi, teacher. Uh, I always prepare coaches for the clients. Mm -hmm. I never uh, take a nap in my work. Okay, okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. You never take a nap. Me neither. Solía, sí, pero ya no puedo. Me descubrieron dormido. No good. <laughs> ok, seguimos. Let's continue. Arturo, go, please. Ok, teacher. The, uh, I check my email. And, and make a report all day. Visit a client and one or twice a week. Okay, all right, that's good. And, and help my core work. What about the thing you never do? And, and meeting well. 
with my coworker or our clients. Okay, okay, that's that's great. Thank you very much for your participation. Jonathan Mauricio, go please. Jonathan Mauricio, are you there? No, okay, he, he's not there. Let's continue, Roberto Alemán. No? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, I'm here, I'm here. I'm sorry. Um, uh, uh, one thing I do every day, I, every day, I'm sorry. Every day I check in around the 6 and 45 p.m. And things I never do. I never have class in the first hour. Okay. You know, all right, all right, all right. Thank you for sharing. Marcel, no, 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 Marcel, I changed already. Did it. Reynaldo, go, please. Uh, for example, teacher, uh, Sometimes I have to visit the Movistar store. Eso es como lo que lo que hago. What about what about what? No uh -huh. Y qué no hago, pues. Eso sí no se me ocurre nada, teacher. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Muchas cosas. All right. That's on, that, that, that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, Sylvia, go, Sylvia. Okay. I open the computer every day. Mm -hmm. I never play game in the work. I never, sorry. Play game in the work. Why not? I play Free Fire. No. No, 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 that's, no, no juego eso. Okay. <laughs> I play, I play Clash of Clans and, and Clash Royale, yes, and, and FIFA in class. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not true. No me crean. Okay. Uh, bueno, thank you guys for your participation. You did a very good job. Let me show you some information about tomorrow. Pueden verlo. Acá está. Ayer. Yo no, para mañana, quiero decir. <ríe> Ayer, sí. Comunicado, mañana hay clases. Mañana hay clases, mañana hay clases. Ok, y seguimos hasta el día miércoles. Ok, así que mañana no. Uh, great notice. Yes, ok, great news. We are not going to have classes tomorrow. Mañana es día de descansar, dormir. Y se le van con nuestras madres o esposas o ex esposas o ex novias o la, la socia, el socio, o no, ¿cómo se Ustedes saben. La amante. No quise decirlo, pero dijo es Reinaldo. Son bromas. Pero si quieren, son bromas, son bromas también. Pero si quieren, no. Ok, seguimos. Let's continue. Vamos a continuar con. We're going to continue with the book over here. On the part number two, on part number two, we have our reading passage. Tenemos una lectura en la parte dos. Okay. And abajo de la parte dos tenemos la respuesta. Bueno, vamos a, vamos a corregir lo que está acá. Okay. Pero luego iremos así poco a poco. Okay. Vamos a ver. Uh, Leo, escuchemos la pronunciación y luego unas tres personas van a practicar la lectura. Okay. Vamos. It says, oh, well. It says, read about Mr. Wilson, check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check my emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 23rd, 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I'm always, I am always busy. 
Is there a word that you don't understand? Is there a word that you don't understand from the paragraph, people? Guys? Potential. 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 Yes. Re resources. Ah, recursos humanos. This is human resources. Gerente de recursos humanos. Manager es gerente. ¿Mm? No more. La pronunciación, la pronunciación del 21. 21st. 21st. Y 22nd. En 22nd. Ok. Yes. 21st and 22nd. Creo que esto lo veremos el día miércoles. Los, los números. Uh, how do you call this ordinal list? Ok. Ordinal numbers. Ok. Leo una vez más. Luego, luego vamos a. a ustedes van a leer. Ok. Escuchemos la pronunciación una vez más. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about a conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Well, that's what it says there. Okay, muy bien. Uh, I need a volunteer. Uh, I need a volunteer. Para leer, voluntario, please. Thank you. Okay, Wilber. Yes. Luego Rosemary, okay. Hello. My name is John Wilson. I work in the office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In the company, we always have, have events. We events. have to attend events. Okay, me perdí. Voy a retrasar un poquito. We yeah. always have events. We always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Thank you very much for reading, Wilbert. Excellent. Rosemary, you continue. Thank you. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I always busy. Okay, events, all right, events. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. I'm not a volunteer. Me? Okay, go, King, King Arthur. Okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human research manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. And I am always busy. All right, all right. 
Excellent. Thank you very much. You're uh, welcome. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. One more person que no ha participado en nada por el momento es Fanny. Okay, Fanny, Lea. Hello, my name. Oh no. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in the office. I am. Me for the company. I was the home and talk before that in the morning. I'm not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we are often. Okay, we, I think we. Excuse me, teacher, I'm a part Sorry. We always have even, we have to attend a conference on July, July. 21st. July 21st. 20, 20, 21st. And and then we have to attend a meeting about the company on July second, twenty second. July twenty second. Yes. I I I uh, always but busy. I am I am always I am always busy. Always busy. I'm always busy. Then, Yes. I'm always, I am always busy. Okay. Thank you, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for participating. Uh, here, tenemos en la, en la siguiente espacio abajo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven uh, sentences. This uh, his name is John Wilson. En el, en el espacio que está ahí. Let me see. Vamos entonces acá a la parte de esta. Pongámosle, pongámosle la C si es correcta y pongámosle la I si es incorrecta. Ok. Por ejemplo, here we can say correct. Here incorrect. Ok. Si es incorrecta, si es, si es incorrecta, corrijámosla en el espacio. Ok. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, we have the first example that says his name is John Wilkins, but it is incorrect, right? Because it says up here that his, his name is John Wilson, not Wilkins, as it says down there. Okay, let's do this. Okay, chequemos si están correctas. Pongamos acá incorrecto o correcto, y luego si está incorrecto, corrijamos acá en el, en el espacio. Okay, yes. Go, people.
Did you finish, people? People, did you finish? Finish. Okay. Okay, uh, number one says, read them, Cesar. Okay, teacher, he is incorrect. His correct his name is John Wilson. Okay, the correct one is his name is John Wilson. Wilbert, read the second one, please. He writes reports every day. Uh, that's incorrect. Uh, he always answers the phone. Mm, no. It's this one. Es esa que está acá arriba. Every day. He writes reports every day. But no, every day I check my I check emails for the company. Okay. So he he checks emails every day, okay? He checks emails every day, yes. All right, thank you for your participation. Let's continue, uh, Roberto Alemán. Number three, please. Yes, teacher. Number three, uh, well, incorrect. He always, on, 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 on. that is correct because he never answered the phone and talk to customer because he talked with a potential employer. Okay. Okay, it says, uh -huh. I always, uh -huh. okay, so this one, in vez de never le ponemos always. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, next is, hmm. Mr. Uh, Garcia, Pascal Garcia, go please. Number four. Mr. Pascal Garcia, hello. Sorry. Uh, number four, he yes. often has meetings in the morning. It's correct. Is it correct? Yes. He yeah. always, he generally mm -hmm. attends meetings in the morning. Uh -huh. He generally attends meetings in the morning. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Alba, read number five, please. Thank you, Alba. Alba, ¿me escucha? Está dormida. Silvia, go Silvia. Thank you, Silvia. Number... Five. He never attend meeting in the afternoon. That's incorrect. And the correct is? 
he often attend meeting in the afternoon? I would say Dodiria seldom or sometimes porque dice not so often, no tan frecuente, pero sí que no es más o menos, ok. Not so often in the afternoon. So, entonces, pongámosle seldom. Ok. okay. Seldom. Uh -huh. He seldom attends meeting in the afternoon. Ok, yes, thank you very much. Let's continue, Marcela, Karina. Number six. Hello. No. Hola. Uh, sí. It's incorrect. Mm. Um, because he always have event events. Okay. He. It says that the company. The company. It says we always have events. Okay. He. Oh. He usually has events in the company. No. He always has. No. Events. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And the last one. Uh, let me see. Ana Marcela. Ana Marcela, read number, number seven, please. Hello, teacher. Estoy buscando cuál es La siete. La siete. Está, desde aquí está, en esa parte. Ajá. Uh -huh. Qué barba. We have to answer a conference on June. No sé cómo se pronuncia. No, no, pero aquí. ¿Cuál es la, la correcta? Si está correcta aquí abajo, el número 7. Dice, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. ¿Está eso correcto o incorrecto? Um, incorrecto. Ok, ¿y lo correcto es? Es... Sí. Ay, desde dónde me dijo comenzó. Uh, to ask them to confirm on who on to like no sé cómo pero es to anything I no sé cómo es cómo es teacher okay sí, sería mi en vez de conferencia pongamos la reunión reunión okay. he has to go to a conference to a meeting on July 22nd, okay? Sí, sí. okay. O, cambiamos, o cambiamos el 22nd, no ponemos 21st. He has to go to a conference on July 21st, que es lo que dice anterior, anteriormente, okay? Cualquiera de las dos es, está bien. All right. Dice en la parte 3, esta sí está un poquito más, más compleja. Based on the, on the reading on part one, write a similar paragraph about what you do at your job. Basado en la lectura de la parte 1, dice no, parte 2. Basado en la lectura en la parte 2, que acabamos de ver, escribe un párrafo similar acerca de lo que tú haces en la compañía o en tu trabajo. Ok. Agarramos esto que está acá como base para poder hacerlo. Cinco líneas está bien. Ok. Cinco, cuatro o cinco líneas está bien. Ok. Yes. Please. Five minutes. Cinco minutos para hacerlo. Ok. Les doy cinco minutos para hacerlo. Luego seguimos acá más abajo. Ok, sigamos aquí. Let's write the paragraph.
Three more minutes, people. People, did you finish? Who finished already? Can tell me no ya? Can you compare that? We compare that with everybody. Hi, teacher. You finished? Yes. Si me equivoco, me corrige. Y por cualquier cosa, prepare el agua bendita por si invoco ahí una entidad algo rara. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Estamos listos aquí con Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello. My name is Cesar Moreno. I work in a company. I'm a silage person for mm -hmm. alimentary sector. Every day drive to work every early. I answer the WhatsApp chat generally have visit to the clients and the prepare coated for date. Okay, that's perfect. Don't, don't worry, okay? No invoca ningún demonio. Todo bien, todo bien. Todo bien. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. <laughs> okay, alguien más? Somebody else? Yo, teacher. Go, no, please. Hello, my name is Rosemary. I work in Apromerica Bank. I am a financial advisor. Every day I call clients and also send some emails. Twice a week I have meeting with my boss and together review the goals. Hasta ahí, hasta ahí. <laughs> the okay. goals. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay, Ali Mas, another volunteer. Okay, Wilbur, go. Hi, my name is Wilbur Perez. I work in a security company. I work in the tech support. I check my email from time to time in the morning only. We had a meeting once a month with busy client every day. All right, that's okay. Perfect, thank you very much. Is there another volunteer? Yeah. Okay, Sylvia, thank you. Go, please. Okay. Hello, my name is Sylvia. I'm a supervisor. Every day I drive to I drive to work. In my work, I always do memos and send emails. I also attend meetings very often. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Silvia, for sharing. Let's continue. Another volunteer. No, no hay más. Voluntarios. Okay. Regalo, did you finish? Eh, no, teacher. Lea lo que tenga, por favor. Thank you. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is John Wilson. Yes, but Chair. Hello. Es esa verdad. La, eh, no, vale, vale, lo que, vale lo que usted escribió. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, no, teacher, estaba pensando. Okay. Next, ahí. You haven't finished, okay. It's okay, thank you. Don't worry. No hay problema, okay. Piense, piense. Marcela Karina. Marcela Karina Melgar Alas. Hola. Hi. Bien, pero no sé si está bien lo no, que voy a decir. <laughs> Hello, my name is Karina Melgar. I work in Agrobiotech El Salvador. I am log I'm logistic and important manager. Every day check my email for the company. And always track air way bill numbers and bill of lading. Oh, solamente. Okay. okay, thank you for sharing. Magdiel, continue, please. Okay, teacher. Hi, my name is Esau Garcia. I work in, in an office. Currently, I do budgets for maintenance and repair of machines. And I have to give them to my boss for sending to the clients only. Okay, and that's okay. Thank you very much for sharing. Andrea Sofia, go please. Okay. Hello, my name is Andrea Benitez. I work in office. Uh, I'm a content assistant. Every day check uh, emails for the company. I always answer the phone and call the clients. Um, usually I attend a meeting in the morning because my boss doesn't pass in the office in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Only. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for sharing. Well done. Uh, let's continue. Jair, please share with us. Hello, my name is Jair Lobo. I work on office and analyze the dispute, everyday checking emails. Also, I always answer the phone of merchants. I attend meetings, business area. Also, I, I had to do long, to long report the dispute and, and I am saying, dispute to merchant and tax all. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much for sharing. I it's have a, a question. Yes. Eh, me aparecían dos para comercios, commerce o merchants. Merchant is okay. ¿Cuál sería Merchant. correcto usar? Merchants. Ambas son correctas. Ambas, okay. Yes. Yes. Thank okay. you. Yeah, no problem. All right, uh, Roberto, Alemán. Yes, teacher. He intent intentado, me he forzado, pero ahí voy. It's okay. Okay, hello. Thanks. Hello, my name is Roberto Alemán. 
I work in a colegio militar. I am a computer teacher. I uh, dar clases. No, no, no sé si. I teach. No lo. ¿Cómo? I teach. Uh, I teach a class in the morning, and sometimes uh, twice, Thursday uh, to third, no Monday to Thursday. I uh, teach class in the afternoon, one until two thirty p.m. Only that. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Excellent. Uh, Alba, Janet, are you there? Alba, Janet, hi. Hi. Teacher, no entendí muy bien. Um, ¿Puede repetirme? Ah, pues le pongo cero. Lo siento, pero tengo como gripe. Estoy algo así. Oh, no. Tiene coronavirus. Este, no, este tiene que ser algo similar. A no, lo... no, no, no. Tiene que hacer una, una, un párrafo similar al que está acá en la página 24. Casi igual que este. Ok. Eso. Era lo que íbamos a hacer. Uh, de lo que Award. hacemos en el trabajo. Yes, yes. Please do at, at work, at the work, please. Ok. Uh, ¿Quién me ha compartido y quiere compartir? No? Okay. No problem. We're going to continue here. Yes. Okay. Hello, my name is Raul Esquivel. I work in a city hall. I visit the and contribuyentes. Contributors. Contributors. Uh, contributors. For example, that bodies, discotheque, gym, and I check that business play for the taxes. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you, Ra uh, Raul, for sharing. Seguimos, we're going to continue with another activity. We will do that one later on. Okay, vamos a, a retomar, bueno, continuar con la clase anterior. In the last class, or last class, we were talking, studying, and practicing the uses of need to and have to. Well, today we're going to continue, but today we're going to have practice, okay? Like, uh, what, what need to and have to is, okay? Yes. Can you guys, can you guys see the presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much for that. All right. Seguimos. ¿Qué es ese? No, 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 how to use need to and have to know that's not necessary because we're going to learn how to do that. Okay. Vamos. Uh, guys, we use need to when we want to express necessity. It is just for me. Okay. Usamos el need to cuando queremos expresar necesidad. Okay. Me, para mí. Y acá abajo, en la parte de abajo, que veamos la parte de abajo antes de todo. Note, with need, I decide if I want to do the action or not. Okay. Con need, yo decido si hago la acción o no. Ya que es una necesidad. Okay. Ahí depende de usted. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, examples. Bueno, la estructura es bien sencilla. Usamos el, 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 la persona, subject. Luego, need to, que en, que significa necesito, luego cualquier verbo que tenga lógica y sentido, y el complemento. Example, I need to study for the exam, ok. I need to study for the exam, necesito estudiar para el examen. 
Then it says she needs to go to the store. Ella necesita ir a la escuela, perdón, a la tienda. He needs to call the clients. Él necesita llamar a los clientes. Y por último, we need to turn off the TV. Necesitamos apagar la televisión. Okay? Yes. Ahora, for the third person, acá está, aquí en el cuadrito verde. For the third person, she, he, it, we use the S in the verb need. Lo cual igual a needs. Así como está acá, she needs. He needs. Para I no aplica and para we no aplica. Okay? Yes. Very good. Ese es la, el, el resumen rápido. Okay? Luego tenemos acá el, el, el the use of have to. El uso de have to. We use have to when we want to express obligation. When we want to express, express obligation. Okay? These are uh, job obligations. Legal obligations and maybe, maybe personal obligations. Examples here. Oh, well, the structure, la estructura es la misma del need to, subject plus have to, luego de have to usamos un verbo, plus complement. Have to significa tengo que. For example, I have to work today. Tengo que trabajar hoy. Okay. Es una obligación poco personal, pero igual también legal, porque si no trabaja, si no va a trabajar, y un documento ahí, lo que lo despiden. Uh, the chef has to cook in the restaurant. The chef has to cook in the restaurant. Okay, el chef tiene que cocinar en el restaurante. The secretary has to check her email. And you have to be, you have to be in the class. Dora has to prepare the patients. And lastly, Oscar has to deliver orders. Okay, so have to is para obligaciones. Okay, vamos. For, en paro, paro, paro verde dice, for the, for the third person, she, he, it, we change have to to has to. Examples, she has to, he has to, it has to. Así como está reflejado en the chef has to, the secretary has to, Dora has to and Oscar has to. Okay. Preguntas hasta el momento. Se puede, contract, se puede contractar. You have. He visto en algunas frases. No, 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 no se puede. No se puede. Y, con, y cuando aparece por el subject y aparece la V y la E. El apóstrofe okay. y la V y la E. Déjenme decirles, es, eh, cuando se trata de, de have como auxiliar, sí. Porque have como auxiliar significa e en español. Y has significa... Has significa... Perdón, a. Ok, así como lo puse en el chat. Okay, example, I have worked all day. Okay, yo he trabajado todo el día. Esa es una estructura completamente diferente. Y acá have to no es un verbo, sino que es un auxiliar. Y el, auxiliar, el verbo es worked. Okay, entonces en ese caso sí se puede. Okay, así como está el siguiente ejemplo. Okay, sí. ¿Entendemos? Esa estructura se llama presente perfecto y es un poquito complicada. Sí. Básicamente ese es otro tiempo, ¿verdad? Exactamente, exactamente. Eso es otra estructura, no tiempo, estructura. Ok. Yes. Yes, yes. Veo que están marcadas los, el have to con el verbo. Pero en la de you have to be, no está marcado en rojo el have, es por alguna razón. Ah, no, no, se me olvidó. Ah. Sí, la razón se me olvidó. Ah, bueno. Se me escapó. Sí, no sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Se escapó eso, ok. And my apologies. Ok, thank you, thank you. Ok, no problem. Oh, 
en la parte de abajo dice notes, we have to, you generally don't have options, ¿ok? Si usamos have to, generalmente no tenemos opción, tenemos que hacerlo, que ¿ok? es una obligación. No hay opción. Y si la toma la opción, probablemente tenga consecuencias, entonces, ¿ok? Usamos have to para obligación si es afirmativo, ¿ok? Y preguntas, si es negativo, no. Ya veremos esa parte de negativo en la cual no aplica la obligación. Ok, vamos. Uh, básicamente acá el uso del have to con el has to, ya sabemos que have to es con I, you, we, they, y has to se usa con she, he, and it. Así como lo pueden ver acá. Bueno, leo. No, no leo yo. Queremos leer a César. Véanos en los primeros párrafos. Please, please, please. Yes, teacher. First we one. use have to with the desired pronouns. I, you, we, they, and plural subject. We use has to with the subject pronouns. She, he, and it. And singular subject. Okay, and singular subjects. Okay, thank you very much for, for your uh, participation. Aquí tenemos la, la como van. I have to, you have to, we have to, they have to, the teachers, plural, have to, Juan and Maria have to. She has to, he has to, it has to, the doctor, singular, has to, my sister, singular, has to, okay? Examples down here. I have to call my boss. Helen has to check the report. Peter and Mark have to guard the door. Guard significa ser o oh, vigilar, ok, guard en ese caso, vigilar la puerta, ok, yes. O como decimos acá en El Salvador, vigiar. <ríe> It is true people. Ok, bien, seguimos con, bueno, acá tenemos ahora el negativo. Let's practice the negative form. Para el negativo, with, with uh, have to and has to, usamos doesn't and don't. Doesn't and don't. Es lo que usamos, ¿ok? Here. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh -huh. Reinaldo, hello, Reinaldo. Reinaldo, hello. No, oh, yeah. Let's see, uh, Rosemary. Can you please help us read the first two lines? Las primeras dos líneas, por favor, léalas. Ahorita. Uh, yeah, yeah. We use don't have to with the subject pronouns. I, you, we, they. In plural subjects, no, perdón, in plural subjects. Yes, yes. We, you, doesn't have to with the subject pronouns she, he, and it in singular subjects. Thank you, thank you. We use don't have to with the subject pronouns I, you, we, and they in plural subjects. We use Okay, we use doesn't have to with the subject pronouns she, he, and it, and singular subjects. Examples, I don't have to, you don't have to, we don't have to, they don't have to, the teachers don't have to, and Juan and Maria don't have to. She doesn't have to, he doesn't have to, it doesn't have to, the doctor doesn't have to, my sister doesn't have to. Important notes, we don't use have, has to, when we use doesn't. No usamos el has to cuando ya tenemos el doesn't. Recordemos que el has to es tercera persona, ok, este que le mostramos anteriormente, no está aquí. Ok, es tercera persona, cuando usamos doesn't en negativo o en pregunta, cuando usamos does, la S ya se ve reflejada en el auxiliar, la ES en el auxiliar, entonces, la, la S desaparece en el verbo, ¿ok? Examples, I don't have to call my boss. Helen doesn't have to check the report. Peter and Mark don't have to guard the door. People, 
Ah, no está expli explicado acá. O oh, sí, no. No está explicado. Escuchemos esto. Uh, dijimos anteriormente que have to era obligación, right? Yes? Yes? Ok. Yes, en, este yes. caso, en este caso, in this case, cuando es negativo, no es obligación. Significa, uh, en inglés es lack of necessity, es falta de necesidad. Eso quiere decir que tenemos la opción. Ok. Cuando es negativo, ya no es obligación, sino que tenemos opción. Acá dice... No tengo que llamar a mi jefe. Ok. Si puedo hacerlo, yo no tengo que llamarle. No es una obligación. Ok. Si digo, I have to call my boss, tengo que llamarle a mi jefe. It's just you know, different, right? Ok, so. Helen doesn't have to check the report. No tiene que revisar el reporte. Ok. Peter and Mark don't have to guard the door. Peter o Pedro, Pedro y Marcos no tienen que, que, que vigilar la puerta. Ok. No es una obligación. All right. Preguntas para el negativo de, 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 de have to, prácticamente. Guys, preguntas para el negativo de have to. No? All right. This is perfect. Seguimos con... Need to and needs to. Ok. Ya sabemos cómo se usa, pero vamos a practicarlo. Ok. Uh, sí. Jonathan Mauricio, nos escucha. Roberto Alemán, please read. Teacher. Voy. We use need to with the subject pronouns I, you, we, they, and plural subject. We use need to with the subject pronouns she, he, and it, and singular subject. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We use need to with the subject pronouns I, you, we, they, and plural subjects. Okay. We use needs to with the subject pronouns she, he, and it, and singular subjects, okay? Yes, tercera persona. Bueno, primera y segunda, luego tercera persona, singular. I need to, you need to, we need to, they need to, etc. She needs to, he needs to, the doctor needs to, my sister needs to. You need to go to school. She needs to prepare food. He needs to buy salt. And we need to give to the poor, okay? Look. You need to go to the school. Necesitas ir a la escuela. She needs to prepare food. Ella necesita preparar comida. Next, he needs to buy uh, salt. Él necesita comprar sal. Y el último es, we need to give to the poor. Necesitamos dar o ayudar a los pobres. Ok. Negativo es, pues, lo mismo auxiliares. El don't y el doesn't. Prácticamente es lo mismo que en have to. Ok. Solo que ponemos... En vez de have to, ponemos el need to. Ok, Leo. Uh, we use need to, sorry, we use don't need to with the subject pronouns are you, we, they, and plural subjects. We use doesn't need to with the subject pronouns she, he, and it, and singular subjects. Examples, uh, I don't need to, you don't need to, we don't need to, they don't need to, etc. He doesn't, sorry, she doesn't need to, he doesn't need to, my sister doesn't need to. Examples, you don't need to go to school. She doesn't need to prepare food. He doesn't need to buy salt. And the last one, we don't need to give to the poor. Okay, that's how it is. Okay, preguntas. Guys? Questions? No. Okay. There are no questions, right? This is for the preguntas. This is for the questions. Okay. Prácticamente lo que hacemos es poner el auxiliar al principio. Es como el negativo, solo que movemos el auxiliar para el principio sin el not. Okay. Acá está lo mismo que está arriba. 
We use do and does to make questions with have to. We use do with are you with a. We use does with she, he, and it. Does, sorry, do you have to or need to check the files? Do they have to or need to sell the property? Do people have to or need to pay taxes? Does she have to or need to go to work? Does he have to or need to send reports? Yes, I request a yes. Are you with they have to? I don't understand why he left that, that thing is there. Anyway. Yes, I, you, we, they need to. Ah, está con need to. Yes, no, I, you, we, they don't have to. Or no, I, you, they, we, sorry, we, they don't need to. The same situation here para responder. Yes, she, he, it has to. Yes, she, he, it needs to. No, she, he, it doesn't have to. And no, she, he, it doesn't need to. Okay. Acá está para las preguntas. Usamos el auxiliar, luego sujeto, luego el, el, el have to, el need to, luego un verbo y luego el complemento. Okay. People, questions about these parts. No question. No questions about this part? Okay, that's perfect. Okay, acá ya preguntas WH. Okay, es prácticamente lo mismo, solo que ponemos la WH al principio. When do you have to or need to check the files? Where do they have to or need to sell the property? What time do people have to or need to pay taxes? How often does she have to or need to go, uh, need to, go to work? And who does he have to or need to send reports to? Okay, ahora preguntas. No. Okay, then no problem. Okay, guys. Leamos esto que están acá, ok, y corrijamos los errores que veamos. Dice, encuentra los errores. Leámoslos. Estaré dos minutos para que lo lean y vean los errores. Luego vamos a revisar a ver si consiguieron, los, si consiguieron o vieron los errores. In the first one, it has. Continue, continue. Let me know. The second one is they don't need to call the secretary. Okay, so qué mora que me entonces. Aquí hemos dicho que era has to, ¿verdad? Escuché que dijeron. Ok. En la siguiente, en la dos, number two. Dijimos, dijeron que era don. Don. Ok. Number three. Needs to. Needs. 
with the S, right? Needs. Needs. What about number four? We. We have. We have to work. Ah, la hija dijo. Okay, we have to work on the weekend. Siguiente. Next. You don't have to. You don't don't have. You don't have to clean the office. Next, Jose. Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay, Jose doesn't need to go to the beach. Next, you naive need have to help Salvadorans. Has. Has. Has, right? Has. Has to help, help Salvadorans. People has to follow the rules. How? People, People have, have to, follow to follow the rules. The rules. People have. People have to follow the rules. Yes, you are right. Here, incorrect. Incorrect. Incorrect and incorrect. Bad. 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 And bad. All right, guys, you did you did a very good job. Thank you for your participation. Okay, let's continue here. And let's stop sharing. Okay, vamos a, I, quiero que, I need you. I need you to give me examples. Quiero que ustedes me den ejemplos del negativo, the need to or the have, the doesn't, or the have to, okay? Cualquiera de los dos. ¿Quién inicia? Go. En afirmativo y en, y en negativo. Solo negativo. Yo. Go, please. I don't, I don't need to sleep eight hours. I don't need to sleep eight hours. Okay. I sleep three hours. No problem. It's normal. Les he enviado la, 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 la the presentation in the chat de Zoom. Okay. Alguien que la pueda reenviar al grupo de WhatsApp. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Rosemary. Wilbert, go, please. I I don't need to take the driver to go to to the work. To go to work. Okay, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you very much for that. Teacher, a ver si está bien. No, Michael sí. workers don't have to celebrate my birthday. Okay. They need to celebrate. Okay, that's okay. They don't have to celebrate your birthday. It's, it's perfect. Thank you very much, Magdiel. Go, Magdiel. I don't have cook cook right now. Repeat, please. I don't have I don't have cook. Mm -hmm. I can too. I don't have to. I don't have to cook. Mm -hmm. Today. Yeah. Thank you most. Okay. And... Yes, Pascasio, go please. Yes. Hello. People don't need to eat meats. Okay, people don't need to eat meat. But it's delicious. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Jair, go, please. You don't have to dance in the party. Mm -hmm. It is true. Okay, perfect. Silvia, go, Silvia. Okay. You don't need to eat fast food. Repeat, you don't need to eat fast food. Okay, you don't need to eat fast food. Okay, thank you very much. Fanny, 
Go, Fanny. Hi, teacher. Hi. Repeat, please, teacher. No, you give me your example. So, ejemplo, déme. Con need to or have to. Cualquier ejemplo negativo. Okay. Permítame, te he dicho que no. Hello. Ahí con. Uh, I don't have to work today. Okay, you don't have to work today. No trabajé este día. Okay, I don't have to work today. Okay, yes, thank you very much. Roberto Prudencio. Yes, teacher, uh, I don't need uh, I don't need to work tomorrow. Okay, you don't need to work tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. Reynaldo, go, please. Boy, teacher, boy, teacher. Bueno, teacher, lo perdí. Porque me salió un rato, teacher, lo siento. Uh -huh. Lo perdí, teacher, la presentación. Sorry. Lo que estábamos viendo, teacher. Yes, exactly. Next teacher, next, porque no, no, no le encuentro, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Arturo, please, go Arturo. Okay, and Fanny doesn't need to drink coffee. Okay, Fanny doesn't need to drink coffee. All right, perfect. Let's continue with uh, Anna. Marcela. No, no entiendo, teacher. Sorry. Que no entiendo, por esto no he hecho ningún, no le. Estamos escribiendo un ejemplo de con need to o have to, en negativo. Okay. Iniciamos. Diga una, una persona. Cualquier persona. ¿Cómo? Sorry. ¿Cómo? Cualquier persona. Diga, diga una persona. I, you, ella, él. Sería. Sí. Ok, she, ahora el auxiliar. Sería next to. Sorry. Next to me dijo que era. No, es negativo. Uh, no. No. ¿Cuál le dije? Negativo. She, no. she does. Doesn't. She doesn't. Ok, ahora el, el need to, el have to, cualquiera de los dos. Next to. Uh -huh. Ahora un verbo. Go, clean, work, eat, drink, watch, call. Mm -hmm. Drink to work. Okay, she doesn't need to work. Karen, thank you, Anna. Karen, go quickly. 
Okay. I have to work tomorrow. Negative. Please. I haven't worked tomorrow. Mm -mm. No. Negative? Yes. I don't have. Mm -hmm. Work tomorrow. Have to? I don't have to? I don't have to work tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Seguimos. Uh, we're missing Andre Alba. Sorry. Alba. Alba. Go, Alba. Go. <laughs> Ahorita. He does not need to call me. Okay. He does not need to call me. It's perfect. Yes. Thanks. Uh, I think we're missing Marcela, Karina. Hi. Hi. Oh, please. Uh, my children don't have to watch TV past eight o'clock. Okay. My children don't have to watch TV past eight o'clock. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Yes. All right. And the rest, they are sleeping. Okay. Thank you for your participation. Vamos a seguir. Don't need to have to. Okay. But I'm going to share the activity. Uh, no sé si la pueden ver la actividad. Sí, la pueden ver. Yes, yes, yes. It's a worksheet on need to and have to. There is a instructions. Write what you consider. What you consider is a necessity or an obligation according to the examples or situations provided. Escribe lo que tú consideres es una necesidad o obligación u obligación de acuerdo a los ejemplos o situaciones uh, ya previstas aquí, ¿ok? Dadas. Tenemos el ejemplo, primer ejemplo, la número uno dice, el bebé está hambriento. Pongamos ahí el ejemplo, ok, con need to have to. The baby has to eat. Así sería. Ok, así sería. Yes, or the baby needs to eat. Ok, ahí de acuerdo, de, de acuerdo, la, depende de ustedes, ok, como ustedes lo quieran poner. Ok, yes. La tres, paguen, 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 paguen. Ok, sigamos, hagamos esta parte, son tres, tres oraciones. I'm going to give you around seven minutes. Uh, uno por cada, por dos, ok. 14, 14. Lo pondré un poquito más corto acá para que pueda. Ahí está. Leamos cada una de ellas y luego consideremos si es una necesidad o una obligación y escribimos acá la, el ejemplo, ¿ok? Así como lo dijo uh, Stephanie, no, no, como que, por Mary. Sorry. <ríe> ok. Sorry. Ok, ahí tenemos los ejemplos. The baby, the baby has to eat or the baby needs to eat. Ok, sigamos. People. There don't need, there don't need clothes, clothes in the wardrobe. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Wardrobe. Wardrobe. There don't need clothes in the wardrobe. You can change, la puede cambiar. La puede cambiar. Ahí dice, no hay ropa en, en el armario. Usted puede poner, I need to buy more clothes. Ahí depende de usted. La, la respuesta puede variar, ok. Entonces la pueden cambiar. Adaptarla a su manera. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Ahí acá dice, yo necesito comprar más ropa. ¿Ok? Ustedes la pueden cambiar.
La tercera podría ser She has to change to company the cable. She has to change the cable company. Cable company, ok. Ok, eso está bien. Yeah, yes. It is perfect. Yo le puse, they don't need to install cable. ¿Así es? ¿Está bien? Yeah, yeah they don't need to install cable. Ahora ya no hay internet, así que nada. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Una, una, una cuatro podría ser... I have to a new job. Mm, mm, have to get. A relax. Have to get. I have to get a relax. To job. get a new job. Ah, también eso me funciona, sí, sí. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo se podría decir tramitar como tramitar licencia? Sorry. Oh, es I have to get. Uh, ¿Cómo se escribe license? ¿Cómo obtener, verdad? Sí, sí. Así, sí. I have to get. Mm -hmm. And I say the teacher needs to buy for my clothes. Yes, yes. Yes, of course. Les muestro las demás. Hold on. There are more. Hay como tres más, pero. Down here. There you go. Pues sí. Teacher, yes. Number seven. Maybe Juan has to go to the gas station. Yes. Yes.
What's the meaning of skinny? Delgado. 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 Yes. O como así hemos sure. oh. Yes. Number eight is. Engordar. He needs. Dolor de cabeza, Eric. She needs to take medicine. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's perfect. Teacher, eh, engordar. Sorry. Engordar. No. Get get fat. Sorry, yes. Sir. Okay. Ya que después del el need to el have to le ponemos así como está ahí en el chat. Need to eat much more. Ah, uh -huh. sería mucho mejor eat more. Ah, pero, pero, uh, need, need to eat, eat much more. Much more. Suena mejor eso que decir que se no quiero acordar. No. Ficher, una pregunta. Bien. En este caso, cuando es, como usted mencionó, cuando es tercera persona, hay que colocar el needs, o sea, la S al final de, de, de por ejemplo, needs. Sí. Y en mi caso, yo la número 12 escribí, eh, he needs to study. Bueno, puse studies. No, entonces no tengo que eh, modificar el verbo study, porque ya no. lleva needs. O lo el, tengo que... el study no, solo needs. Needs, sí. Ah, ok. Entonces, cuando se modifica este verbo eh, en Fishit, ya no se necesita modificar un siguiente verbo. No, ya no, ya no. Solo me haces uno, un verbo. Ah, ok. Gracias. Yes. Let me know when you finish, people.
Son 13 nada más. Yes. No problem, uh, Fanny. Sí, yo me quedo en efecto, sí. Es 13. Okay, I uh, finished, but I don't know if all it's okay. Yeah, no, no problem. We're gonna check. Ya todo terminamos, sí. Yes, teacher. Okay, muy bien. Vamos a ir, uh, bueno, uno por uno. Vamos a ver. Empezamos por. Karen Rivas, lea la primera, como, como usted la tenga, ¿ok? The first one. The first one, yes. The second. The first one, the first one. The baby is hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the baby has to be eat or have to be unconfused. No, has to eat. Tiene que comer. Has to eat. Lo que se casi le, casi le puso tiene que ser comido. Uh -huh. Has to eat. Has to eat. Ok. Sí, está bien así. Ok. The second one, okay. thank you. The second one, Silvia, please. Number two. Ok. I need to pay the cable, the cable receipt. Repeat, please. I need to get. I need to pay. Se le corta, sorry. Hola. Hi. I need to pay the cable receive. The cable. Yes. No, la segunda. Ah. Uh. Uh. I need to buy more clothes. I need to buy more clothes, okay. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Uh, let's continue with the next one. Uh, Roberto Alemán, number three, please. Yes, teacher. Uh, number three is, I need to pay the, the cable service. I need to pay the cable service, please. Si pago, no, no. <laughs> Okay, seguimos. Reinaldo, ¿está ahí? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Bueno, okay. yo había hecho la... Estaba hecho la de... Ay... Bueno, yo había hecho la de Marcelo y es very skinny. Ok, entonces... Seguro. Seguro. entonces. Ajá. Okay. Sorry, teacher. No problem, no problem. Ray Arturo, go, please. Um, number four. Yes, please, number four. I'm tired, but I had to go to bed. I have to? Go to bed. I have to go to bed, yes. Okay, I have to go to bed. Thank you very much, Raul, for, for reading. Seguimos. You're welcome. Ana, Marcela, go, please. Si me ayuda, teacher. Yes, please. Go. ¿Cuál? La cinco. I Dice, yo manejo sin licencia de moto. ¿Y ahí tengo qué? Ponerle una... Uh, si es obligación o necesidad de conseguir una licencia. O need to y have to. ¿Cómo me dijo? Hoy need. Tendré que poner need to o have to. Need. Uh -huh. need, need to or have to. Uno de los dos. Need. Need. 
Y si pongo need, sería... Uh -huh. Solo lo último. No, aquí tienes que escribir la oración. Por ejemplo, no, la, por ejemplo en la 4, en la 4 dice, estoy cansado. Hoy estoy cansado, dice en la 4. Hoy estoy cansado. Y, y a, a Roberto dijo, tengo que ir a la cama. Es, I have to go to bed. Tengo que ir a la cama o I need to go to bed. Cualquiera de las dos. Necesito ir a la cama o tengo que ir a dormir. Entonces acá dice, yo manejo sin licencia de moto. ¿Qué podemos decir? I need. Uh -huh. I need. Dream. No, motorism. I need dream with motorism. No sé si es. Eso. No, no es así. No. I... I know, no sé. <laughs> Sería I need. Repítela. I need. To get. To get. A license. A license. ¿Qué significa? Necesito conseguir una licencia. Ok. Ok. Número 6. Thank you for your help. Número seis, number six, let's continue. Uh, Andrea Sofía, number six. Ay. Um, I, sería, I, I need a teacher. No. I don't. No, ahí dice, soy maestro, no tengo ropa formal, dice ahí. Um, he, he has a formal, formal clothes. No, he... Needs uh, formal clothes. Uh, he needs to buy, comprar, to buy. Uh, he needs to buy uh, formal, formal clothes. Yes, thank you very much. Seguimos. Thank you, Andrea. Jair, number seven, please. <laughs> um, el carro no tiene gasolina. Um, Yo lo hice. <laughs> Juan has to sell the car and need and he needs to buy motorcycle. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's okay. He needs to sell the car and buy a motorcycle. It's perfect. Okay, number eight, Carlos Josué. Pascasio, please, number eight. Okay, teacher. Um, number eight, she he she has a Palabra? Eric. Eric. Ok. Eh, yo le puse acá. She needs to appeal. She needs to take. To take appeal. To take appeal, yes. All right, all right. Let's continue. Wilbert, read number nine. No, pero esa la, la hizo Reinaldo, es que le he hecho, creo. No. Eh, le había puesto Marcelo eh. needs to eat much more. De okay. hecho, con, con la nueve me ayudó usted. Ajá, ok, ok. Wilber. No. Uh, oh, yes, bueno, yes. No sé. Me acordé, sí. Ok, Marcelo needs to eat much more. Ok, yes. Wilber, vean la 10. Está bien así. 
Yes, yes. Okay. Wilbert? Sí, lo siento. De 10, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Eh, Carlos needs to go to study English at Inglés Corporativo. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you very much, Alba Janet. Please continue with the next one, number 11. Um, tengo que hacer lo que es una necesidad. Yes. O qué más, teacher? No entendí muy bien. O obligación. U obligación. U obligación. Me dijo que uh, ellos tienen que levantarse a las 6 de la mañana. Quiere decir, ¿verdad? El 11. No, ellos inician a trabajar a las 6 de la mañana. Ah. Uh, no, teacher, no puedo. ¿Cómo podría hacerlo para aprender? They need to wake up early. Levantarse es wake up early es temprano. They need to wake up early. Ok. They have to wake up early. Tienen que levantarse temprano. Porque inician a trabajar uh, a las 6 de la mañana. Ok. Yes. Ok. Ok. Okay, no, no, don't worry about it, okay? Cesar? Number 12, Cesar, la 12. He's have to study the lessons. He has, has. He has studied the lessons. He has to study the lessons. And Rosemary, la última. She likes to travel. Travel. Yes. Uh, she needs to. She, otra vez. <laughs> she needs to save money uh, for the next. The next travel. Free, free, free. Ahí está en el chat. Tips viaje excursión. Okay. Yes. All right, people. Thank you very much for your participation in this in these activities that we have been developing. Well, we have we have finished. Now, let me take attendance, paso asistencia. Actualizo. Uh, Alba Janet Jimenez Cabrera. Present teacher. Ana Marcela Argueta Santos. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Present teacher, Marcela Argueta Santos. Yes, yes, yes. Carlos, Present. Oh, yes. Carlos José Pascasio García. Present teacher. Catherine no estuvo. César Arquímedes Moreno Flores. I hear the teacher. Present. Yes. Yo no sé Mauricio Galvez Juárez si estuvo. Pero... Present. José Jair Lobo. I'm here. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Tenemos a Marcela Cariana Melgar Alas. Present. Margarita Rosemary Pérez Ayala. Present. Uh, María José Hernández Auceda. No estuvo ahí, ¿verdad? María. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present teacher. Reinaldo Antonio Fernández Acevedo. Present teacher. Sandra Yanira Ayala Jiménez. Uh, Silvio Guadalupe Romero Montoya. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Present teacher. Karen Amilet Rivas de Ayala. I'm here. 
en Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. La semana pasada se quedó Magdiel por último, ¿verdad? Magdiel, confirme. Yes, teacher. Okay. Seguimos con el listado. Quien sigue es Marcela Karina Melgar Alas. ¿Se confirma, Marcela? Sí, Goodbye. Aquí. Aquí. Okay. Usted se queda después de, de todos, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. No se vaya a ir a dormir. Ok, people. Casi, casi ya. Nos vemos el día miércoles, ok. Se Bye, cuida, teacher. pasa la mía mañana, ok. Y cuida con okay. su familia. Hey, teacher. Good night. Happy Mother's Day. Night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, everybody. See you never. <laughs> Good night. See Bye. you Bye. Good night. See you Wednesday. See you Wednesday, people. Cuídense mucho. Bye bye. Hi, Karina. Hi. Aha. Uh -huh. Tell me. Dígame. Mm, por el momento, todo bien, he entendido muchas de las cosas que ha, ha indicado. Tal vez alguna, en algunos momentos, algunas que otras palabras. Pero anoto cuando indica las pronunciaciones para poder estar pendiente de cómo, de cómo van, las, cómo son las pronunciaciones de las palabras que desconozco. Uh -huh. Y quizás lo que cuesta un poco también más es saber escribirlo. Sí, sí, entiendo. entiendo. Uh -huh. es, es bueno cuando pone los ejercicios que uno está escribiendo lo que lo, las oraciones o, o, digamos, o digamos ahora lo que hicimos con, con describir lo que hacíamos en, la, en el trabajo. Eh, estuvo bien eso porque pues estamos más escribiendo, practicando la escritura, sí, sí, sí. que es la que cuesta, bueno, todo cuesta, <risa> pero... Ajá. Sí, sí, le entiendo, fíjese, porque en ese caso, uh, uh, bueno, en sí todo cuesta, como usted dijo, pero todos tenemos algo que nos cuesta un poquito, un poquito más que lo demás. Quizás, quizás eso, eso le cuesta más a usted, la ley, la, la escritura. Sí, la escritura. En mi caso, lo que me cuesta a mí es lectura. La lectura en inglés aún me cuesta un poquito entender algunas cosas. Entonces, prácticamente es lo que me cuesta. Esa ese es mi, 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 mi debilidad, la lectura. Pero lo demás, todo bien. Sí. Ok. Si tiene alguna pregunta del tema que hemos visto, o otros temas, o cualquier otra pregunta de otro, otro tema, aquí estamos. Dígame. Gracias. Este. Um... Quizás lo que a veces hay un poquito de confusión, porque uno a veces puede decir que, que lo de los contables y, y no contables es how many, how much. Porque a veces a uno al, um, con algunas cosas le parece que son contables y otras no, pero tenía un poquito de duda en eso cuando digamos la vez anterior se hablaba de pan y es que cuando se menciona en sí uh, la comida, sin mencionar que son recipientes, botellas o porciones, eh, sí es home, es, es home many, ¿verdad? Cuando ya se dice la, que van en recipientes o porciones, y cuando no, pues son incontables, con much. Entonces sí. en eso sí a veces tenía un poco de duda, pero poco a poco me he ido a, aclarando. En lo anterior y... En inglés, bueno, como ya hablamos español, pero no lo no entendemos así fácilmente. Pero el inglés es un poquito más, más con más detalles, digamos así. Okay. Porque acá, acá en español decimos, uh, deme tres aguas, ¿ok? Uh -huh. no, no hay ningún problema, si lo decimos. Pero en inglés, sí. no, no, en inglés no es así, no se puede decir así. No como decirlo, de, pasarlo de, de español a inglés, así no se puede, literal, tiene que ser más detallado. Then, then, uh, give, me, give me three bottles, botellas, three bottles of water, o si es bolsa, three bags, bolsitas, uh -huh. three bags of water. No puedo decirte que es tres aguas. 
Okay. Sí. Pero hasta el momento todo bien. He entendido mucho. Ok. Excelente. Uh, no sé si me recomienda algo para poder mejorar. Uh, bueno, sí. Somos no, me, me, me gusta bastante que, que es bien interactivo. O sea, nos, por decirlo así, a veces uno por, por pena no habla. Porque como uno no puede a veces decir bien las cosas, uno por pena no habla, pero usted nos hace hablar y eso es muy bueno. Ok. <ríe> aunque no querramos, tenemos que hablar. Aunque, aunque, me gusta. Sea, aunque sea un poquito. Sí. Aunque sea un poquito, pero muchas gracias porque sí he entendido muchas cosas y lo bueno es que nos corrige en las pronunciaciones, que es lo importante, nos ayuda a entender más cosas. Ok, bueno, muchas gracias por decir eso, me motiva a seguir más, seguir adelante y mejorando. Sí. Yes. A preguntar más. ¿Cómo dice? Sí, a preguntar más, o sea, a hacernos interactuar más. Exacto, exacto. Ok, haremos entonces eso. Un poco, un poco más de presión. <ríe> okay. Y a veces, como le mencioné la vez anterior, uh, como soy mamá, a veces, pues, no, no, a veces no estoy muy pendiente. Eh, al principio, cuando, cuando es al principio de la clase, a veces me cuesta un poquito más estar pendiente por lo mismo de mis niños, pero de poco a poco después me voy incorporando y ya, ya estoy pendiente al 100%. Ok, sí, está bien. Me parece bien. Entiendo, no es por eso. Uh -huh. Y siempre que tenga un percance, usted avísenme en el chat, ya sea chat general de todos o el chat privado de Zoom. Ahí dígame, mire, no puedo porque está esto y esto y esto, esto. Estoy de oyente, ok, no me pregunte, así me le pregunto. Ok, gracias, gracias, teacher. Eh, muy buenas clases. Okay. Gracias por estarnos enseñando. Y eh, que nos cuesta un poquito, pero mucha paciencia. <risa> gracias. Bueno, hay problema. Bueno, se cuida mucho, Marcela, en la pasada de mañana, ¿ok? Y feliz día. Muchas gracias. Gracias, cuídese, pase feliz noche. Descanse. Gracias igual. Hasta luego.